Dylan Dale, three to B. I'm sure we're in for an interesting game. Tends to be interesting whenever I play against B. Because he always does weird things. I played a game yesterday when I came home from the dinner. He play, played a Daily Mirror. He went for Tower of Victory. He did double... Uh, double... What's it called? Mosque in Dark Age. and Or the second one on the way to Fuel Age. And he went Tower of Victory. So safe to say that was an interesting approach. Inglesus. Three, oh, what was the map? What was the map? Um, is it Hidden Dale, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Do you watch Spirit of Law regularly and do you disagree with something you said? Um, I don't. I haven't seen too many of his videos. Um, I have seen a few of the AOE4 videos, because that would always be useful in terms of if there is something there to learn. Uh, for AOE2, I can't say that I watched too much. I watched when he was like growing and people started spreading him. I did check a few of his videos, but for the most part they're done in... My, my take on those videos in general was that most of the examples he provided were like this is not how a game is actually looking you know um, you wouldn't have this many villagers you wouldn't have like on the lumber camp at that minute or this or that the, the examples just didn't align with how an actual competitive game would play out more often than not so it's like I'm sure I'm sure his math and the numbers and everything was correct but it didn't make sense according to how a competitive game actually plays out. If you guys get what I mean. Mm. I think I'm going to go... Been having fun with the second English TC in Feudal Age these days, so we'll try the same. This game. Like, he did a uh, wood chopping video where he was like, comparing collection rates. When should you replenish a lumber camp? He's like, first of all, you don't have that many bills on a single lumber camp. Secondly, you cannot do that because. It's not... You won't have that amount of villagers working there. I'm not even sure how to explain it. Um, trying to find the right words. It's like you you need that wood for other things as well. You cannot... like. I just feel like so many actual things that happen in the game gets ignored in his calculations, right? But that's, then again, it's like... With Age of Empires, it's like you cannot find the perfect uh, example because everything depends, as you guys well well know. But yeah, that's the reason why I feel like high-level players can't... There are certainly things in there that they can benefit from. But for the most part, I feel like high-level players cannot benefit because there are too many factors that it's just not how a, an actual game plays out. When we return to AV3! <laughs> And they make AW3 DEDE. -D -E. I'll be back. I should have checked his base if he's doing like barrack or something. Uh, not that it would change what I'm gonna do, so. I guess it is irrelevant. What? Good all it depends. You know why that answer is so good? Because it's true. It does depend. Yes. 
Yeah, one of the, he doesn't know that I'm on stone yet. I wouldn't mind keeping it that way. If possible. Khan is going there, so maybe we can chase him away. I also need to check what he's doing. Are you satisfied with the tournament performance last weekend? Yeah, yeah, I am. I think my execution could have been better in certain aspects, certain parts, but yeah, I'm satisfied. Is a stable. This is where I have to ask myself, do I want to run out and wall right now or do I think I can get the TC up? I guess if I do the TC there, I should be able to get it up no matter what. Doesn't look like it's producing either at the moment, so... Yeah, he is producing me. I only see one. I've noticed the scouts are automatically attacking wolves these days. They auto attack them if you're, you're idling your scout. Don't remember that being a thing in the past. It's a pretty sweet town center, I must say. Never a game win loss matter now in the semis. I don't actually know. Not when you're in the semis, I believe. It's getting 80 gold per trip. Like this is something I cannot stand by and let happen. But can I actually punish it in one way? That's a different question. When we see a Chamber of Commerce, <laughs> when they change it, if they change it ever. He has moved it all the way across as well. So he's now getting 201 per trip. That is a lot. He also has plus one ranged armor already. Not sure if I'll be able to deny this from him. Yeah, yeah, Yarway. We're 
Adding Mangada as well. Interesting. Hmm. It suddenly became a very interesting game. I like it. He definitely wants to deny that tower from going up. He didn't get his own tower up in the process. So that's good at least. He lost the Khan. That's also good. Where's that villager? There it is. Things we can range, we can reach all this trade from here. But he's already gotten some juicy trips. He could also preemptively set up a trade route on the other side. You gotta watch out for that. Did I not send two bills? No one? I think he already has moved it there. I'm happy I did this. This has made it a very interesting game now. Not amongst the usuals. And I can uh, appreciate that. Interesting. No. Certainly losing my share of wills in the process here. I should go in arms. Looks like he switched back to the other side again. Mm, I wish I had my tower upgrade here. Interesting. Don't have much of an army to show for anymore. 
Probably have to do a tower creep myself. He did lose most of his Mangudai though. I'd love to deny this. They're getting cleaned up there. I think I want the third barracks. Get some more my arms because they're a little bit more tanky. Could have gone Castledge here. I think I'm better off not. Definitely gonna switch to trade back. Oh, he's actually still here. Okay. This is where it gets interesting. Ah, I sniped my bills. Good move. I don't know how many bills I've lost trying to tower now. I also lose out on the bonus damage, right? By, uh, by not having towers up. Why are you guys just watching? Just need this one tower up. Then we're happy. And we're gonna get it. Holy shit, that's a lot of Mangra. <laughs> uh, a lot of units as a whole, sorry. What? Okay, I cannot stop this anymore. Yeah, I have to go Castledge. Hmm, this would be interesting to see how Castledge develops from this. It'll be very interesting. 62. I was considering White Tower. I think I need this to provide safety on that side of the map. Knight longbow. Doing against this or my arms better? I mean, I don't think knights are good because he has Mangadai. You know, like if I end up chasing him, I'm losing anyway. I think. I could try and drop a keep. Give me a little map. Not sure how clever that is. Right now. He's very likely on the way to Castledge himself. I don't have Castledge upgrades yet, so he could probably jump on this. And yeah, I don't have the upgrades yet. We got one of them. 
He is targeting villagers with the Mangadai. The keep will go up. He knows a very good sight to me. Still think we're behind. I think. It's really hard to judge. We build a trebuchet and we can. Thing is, I don't even know which side he's trading right now. Could be either. What? So greedy. Okay, looks like he's focusing on defending the left side. Should probably try and snipe the Kong so he doesn't get the healing. Three knights. Actually, that's not that scary. very far from being sure about how this game is actually going. I feel like we can keep up with armor production at the moment, but yet I still feel like it's probably just have, a, have got a crazy amount of resources coming in. Probably all commenting on the composition of Mangadai. Don't know if they are best choice anymore. And his Khan isn't alive right now. Oh, 
Han is alive, I take it back. for the boar there's a live you light hey it wasn't alive when I at one point in the game it wasn't alive okay these things happen six nights it's not an overwhelming number of nights but I still feel like uh, it is a lot. Corolla is actually getting low HP. a good fight for him. Maybe it is. Maybe I need to focus the Mangala behind because they're doing too much damage. I think I need another keep. Will he be able to go imp though? Would be another question. Because, like I, I think he's just floating tons of resources right now because of the trade. Maybe he's already imping because I feel like his army production kind of stopped down a little bit. we stay in castle age though I'm, I'm fine with the current development i guess i should have really tried to get relics huh that would have made sense Stop fighting pretty much since Feudal Age. Choke for me. Yeah, I actually think he's trading on the other side, so us fighting here is kind of like 
I'm pushing against something that I don't really have to push against. I'm pretty sure his trading is on the other side. So I'm gonna just keep pushing through the middle, because then I can kind of switch my angle to attack whichever side I think is. Oh, shit. Whichever side I think needs it. Hmm, this might be a bad fight for me. Well, it's only Mangra I left. So I guess we should be okay. to go up. <laughs> but it will. Should be towers everywhere. I'm gonna let these chaps clean up that. I'm gonna keep focusing down. Because we know that's where he is. Trading. Especially now that I got the attack buff. Checking the resource graph is gonna graph. It's gonna be really interesting after this game. No question about that. Take the curl tie. Oh, 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 oh. Close. We're also claiming a wood line now, which is kind of more important even at this point. Not count as a hit. Do you like Tarantino Cinema Director? Director? Cinema Director, like a movie director, you mean? Sure, why not? Oh, the trade is close. Trade is very, very close. This will be the last stand for him. Oh, 
I don't think he has enough. Especially considering, I mean, he doesn't have his Khan alive, so the Coral Tide doesn't do anything. Just, um, oh, Khan is there. I lied again. <laughs> I think he will resign when we get Imp. This was a weird one. I, I felt that we were behind. For a majority of the game. Trying to secure the top side again. up just as I said that. Oopsie. Yeah, he's switching his focus to the top side again. We'll just tag along. That's why not. Wait, there's a relic there in the ground. I mean, the Khan isn't there, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> like I said. I assume he realizes that he's losing all his trades. I can only imagine that he does realize that. Run. Uh, horses are faster than feet of, of human, humans, unfortunately. Yeah, last one I did it on purpose, okay. Stop having mobility range. GG. That was a fun one. Mm. The fact that if I push one side, he can just switch the trade to the other. It's pretty tricky. But then again, he loses a lot of resources in the process of switching the trade. Right now I'm doing just ranked Mario, but I have played a, a fair few custom games as well. Let's see, a solid amount of Gers, 6, 12, 20 something ish. Go to the corner. Things you could like send half of them there, where they will bring back, I'm not sure how many they will get per trip, and then half of them there. And I kind of have to try and attack both sides. Okay, let's see economy. Food is mostly Gers though, but look at the gold as well. Getting crazy amount of resources from that. This does not count the silver tree, by the way. The trade or village trader or equal difference is probably quite similar. The first time I played against this, like that. Well, he just opens super greed. No towers, just straight silver tree. I guess he did scout that I was going second TC, so it is fair enough. Oh, 
What's a nice game? 